Hey there, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning guest. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Hit the notification so that you can know whenever I have something new. Anyway, uh, I'm, I've got my buffalo plaid on. I'm not ready for winter. I'm in Texas. Today it's like 85 or 90 degrees. It's hot. But you know, it's Texas, so by this afternoon it could be winter. Who knows? So anyway, I broke out the buffalo plaid shirt, went to the thrift store last year even. So I've been waiting for a while to do this. Picked up a little lace dress that had these fun kind of sleeves on it and a lace skirt. Ta -da. So I have disassembled and cut and reassembled with refashioned, recycled, upcycled this buffalo plaid with lace. And uh, while you're here, I want to tell you about coming October the 1st, I've got so, so simple sewing classes for beginners. Beginners sewing classes. There are 60 videos. They're not going to be on YouTube. They'll be through my blog, through my website, myhallcloset.com. So you'll need to go over there and subscribe to get on my email list because my email subscribers will get the notifications first. I'll be telling you about it here, but it's not going to be, the videos are not going to be on YouTube. Anyway, 60 videos, 16 projects, which will be great projects for Christmas presents, and 7 hours of teaching. It'll be once you sign up for the classes, they'll be there whenever you want them there. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and cut this shirt apart and disassemble our little lace things and work on this project today. So, don't go away. I love to upcycle stuff. So, I've got, I got this at a uh, thrift store. It's actually, it's a skirt. Well, and I would never wear something that short, I maybe with leggings or something, but I love the lace on this. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy seam ripper. And then this little top that I found, I'm going to use this part of the sleeve. Uh, the top is too small. I like the lace. And, hmm. and then I've got this buffalo plaid shirt that's from last year, and so it's been washed and uh, worn a couple of times, but I am going to cut it off and add the, the lace at the bottom and I'm going to cut the sleeves off and add the lace onto the sleeves. And I'm going to save this because I have one more project that's going to have buffalo plaid on it. I want to show you how to do that in another project, in another video. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to save these pieces that I'm going to cut off to use in the other project. So for this little sleeve part, I don't want to disturb the gathers. So, and you can do this from the right side or the wrong side, but I'm just going to do it from the right side and just cut right along that row of stitching, being careful not to cut my gathering. And so I'm just kind of pulling that back toward me, well, anyway, away from where I'm cutting. Okay, I have both of my sleeve pieces cut off, and uh, I've already tried this on, and I know that I want to come like right in here. So I think I'm going to just cut this along this line. Now this is going to be not to my wrist. This is a man size medium, and I more than likely will be wearing this with like a long sleeve black top underneath this. So I don't particularly care to have about having the lace like down to here. So this lace is going to hit about here on me. And I've already measured this. And so and I've lined up my shoulder seams at the top and the underarm seam to make sure these are going to be the same length. And my stripe looks about the same. I'm going to go ahead and just cut one at a time. Just cut across there. And then go ahead and cut this one. Now that I need to figure out how long I want this. All right, so we'll set those aside because I'm going to use those for the other project that I'll be doing a little bit later on, but not today. Okay, so I want this to be able to cover my back side. I like, I like that. And uh, so I think that this is my line that I'm going to cut on, but I'm going to try this on one more time since I have my lace all ungathered, and I can also put this 
pin this on to make sure it's going to be right. Now, my lace was put together with a serging stitch here along this line, and I know it's going to be more than plenty. Let's, let me show you. You want to make sure about that. All right, so let me open this up. And then the lace is in half. And so I have I have plenty. So I can cut this at this little where they have it surged. So I'm going to do that. There's one little piece of seam I'm going to open up. Probably don't even need to do that because I've got some a, a couple of inches to spare here. So it would probably be all right. Okay, I want to decide what is the right side and the wrong side. So, right in here, this is pretty smooth, the way that these uh, shapes lay in and the way that that stitching is. And on this side, it's a little bit more raised. And on this back side, there's like where the stitches come together. Uh, I don't know if you can, let me get that in the light. And it's like that they pull to the underside. And on the top side, it's smooth. So I'm going to say that this is the right side and this is the wrong side. I'm going to fold this in under, no, maybe like a half an inch or something like that. Set my stitch to the middle, straight stitch, about a medium length. And then I want to be careful that I don't pull this while I'm sewing. So there's how it's going to look on the front. We'll do that with the other side. Alright, the shirt covers my back side. That's, that's the main thing. Whenever I wear the, the jeans that are a little bit too snuggy, I, I, just, I just like my business covered up. So, alright. So if I put this lace, right there's there's the edge. I could put the lace right along here. And that gives me about an inch and a half extra over that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the shirt off and I think I'm going to just cut it right in the middle of this section right here. And they did good because they matched the plaids. Well, pretty much match the plaids. Anyway, that's where I'm going to go is to the middle of this and uh, cut along that line. So you know the old adage about measure twice, cut once. I'm going to do this again, make sure I'm on the right line, and I'm going to come in the middle of this, about right there, and uh, there's a button, so I don't want to get into that, so I'll cut a little bit above that button and that buttonhole right there. All right. And so I've matched this up, so even though maybe the plaid doesn't match exactly right here, that'll be okay. While I was surging, I went ahead and surged the tail of the, the shirt, but I didn't do this, because the sleeves, because I'm going to put this lace on there, and then I'm going to stitch it and then surge both of the edges. 
it already has a serged edge so it's probably like an extra step that I really don't need to take but I'm gonna do it anyway all right find my seam and it's here this is the right side and the right side and so I want right sides together this is the underarm seam and I'm gonna put this seam on that and line that up this is just about exactly the right width so what I'm going to do is find my halfway on my shirt mark that with a pen find my halfway on my lace and it's right there and I'm going to match that I could put another pen in there I'm just going to match that right there now put the pen in and look that is almost like it was made for it <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin here and so when I stitch this I will stitch a little below this line uh, because I've got that cut edge is actually it's on the right side like right here so I want to make sure that I don't have that showing any place Pin that, do the same thing on the other side. So I'm hoping that buffalo plaid is still a thing this year. I think camo is probably a thing. I don't have a camo shirt to do this with. All right, so I could go ahead and go do this, or while I'm sitting here, I can go ahead and pin this bottom. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the, my pinning done. Uh, same sort of thing. Let's find the halfway mark. Make sure there, halfway. I'm going to put my pen there with the head up because of. And then I don't think yeah, this is, a, this is also a, 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 like a quarter mark. All right. So let's find the right side of our lace, which this is the right side. This is the edge that's turned under. Find our halfway that's going to be here because we want this to be evenly spaced. So that, I'm going to put that right on that edge. And that Away. I'm going to start at my under, underarm seam right here, slide the sleeve over this. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch this uh, just a little. There's my seam, and then there's, I can see the little part where I cut off. So I want to stitch just a little bit over. So about a pressure foot width, that'll be good.
and I'm going to surge this. This will be surged together, um, and I will do that off camera. And I could have probably surged and sewn it at the same time, but I was lazy and I didn't want to put the other needle in my serger. And I wanted to be able to show you this in case you don't have a serger. You could also zig that, zigzag this edge off to finish that if you don't have a serger. Alright, there's my stitching. There's my serging. Alright, let's go ahead and do the tail of this thing. Find the end of it. I'll trim those up in a little bit when we clean up all of our edges. And I am going to want to do a back stitch and I'm going to try to keep this gathering stitch sort of kind of lined up just above that surging stitch. Back stitch, don't stitch the pin. And don't stitch the fingers. Alright, so I'm just going to speed through this. I'm not going to talk. Alright, that's how it looks at the bottom, and there's my sleeves. I might put something on the pocket, but I don't want to get just so crazy with this that it's just like, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. so I think this is probably going to be the right touch that I need. Anyway, if you like this video, if you've enjoyed it and learned something, give me a little thumbs up like and subscribe hop over to my hallcloset.com that's my blog and i've got some projects over there maybe you've missed something and uh, i will see you next time bye